नेक्स्ट मैं आ रहा हूँ इंडिया ये जो शहर देख रहे हो अभी आप स्क्रीन पे इन 12 शहरों में मैं अपने इवेंट रखा है मैंने आप आओ इवेंट का पार्ट बनो आपके जो भी क्वेश्चंस हो गए कि जर्मनी में मैं कैसे पढ़ सकता हूँ फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग कैसे कर सकते हैं कौन से कोर्स सिलेक्शन पे मेरा करियर ज़्यादा ब्राइट हो सकता है शॉर्ट आफ्टर जॉब्स कौन से फील्ड में है यहाँ पर सर्वाइव कैसे करते हैं आपके जो भी प्रॉब्लम है इवेंट में आओ हम लोग इवेंट में मिल बात करेंगे तो यार टिकट्स बहुत लिमिटेड है और हो सकता है टिकट्स अगले 20 दिन में बंद भी हो जाए बिकॉज हर शहर में हमारे पास एक लिमिटेशन है इसलिए टिकट्स के लिंक इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल रखी है मैंने तो वहां से आप टिकट खरीद सकते हो और अगर सुबह के बैक वन सेकेंड आई एम सिटिंग ही विद माई फ्रेंड सिजिन ही इज फ्रॉम केरला स्टारिंग हियर इन दी होक्शुले हाइल ब्रोन मास्टर्स इन वर्ट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग and uh, he comes with a background of sap but before we go ahead please give us your introduction um, i completed my bachelor's um, in computer science right and then i started working with the sap uh, in bangalore uh, so i worked for around 6 years mm -hmm. so even after the uh, college itself i wanted to go for masters but right. getting comfortable in a job you know uh, yeah. it doesn't uh, doesn't happen for everyone that you quit your job and go for the masters true, so true. I, and how much did you score in your bachelor's what was the score so bachelor's um, in percentage wise it was uh, 77 i thought it was decent score but when i converted with my minimum maximum in the german's grade it came about to be 2.5 which right. i realized very late but uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay and did you give gre no i didn't do gre i just had ielts right how much was that uh, i had seven score seven overall yeah. seven score. overall seven yeah. question number 1 Why Baden-Württemberg stayed when you knew that you had to pay fifteen hundred euros per semester? So, in general, uh, in Germany there are total of sixteen states. Fifteen states. There is a bare minimum uh, semester contribution anywhere between one hundred and fifty to five hundred euros. But only in his state, and all the universities in that state, people have to pay fifteen hundred euros per semester. Why? Yeah, so uh, I have four admit, uh, like you said, and the rest of the three are not really in uh, Baden-Württemberg. Um, so I had a choice, but this was a uh, University of Applied Science, uh, mm -hmm. so the technical one. That is the first reason why I chose this university. Second reason being uh, they recognize my bachelor's as a two ten ECTS equivalent. Right. So which means that uh, I can even complete the masters with a ninety ECTS. So right. Basically three semester. So right. I could. Finish my masters effectively in three semester, and the rest of the universities by book it's two years or four semesters. Got so it. I went for this one. Right, right, yeah, right. That was the main reason. So I just come back, and uh, I have already so many years of experience in the industry. So I thought I right. might be even able to get a job, even if I finish a uh, three semester course. Uh, in terms of documents required, yeah. imagine there is a student who is watching us right mm -hmm. now, also willing to apply for computer science in Germany. Yeah. What documents one should be ready with now that you have so much experience okay. with application process? So uh, applying to many universities, the challenge is that every university has a different requirement. That's right. that's the main uh, challenge here. It's not like uh, when you are uh, applying for bachelor's in India, you have a structured process. You yes. have a one portal where you give the documents and then you can choose the universities in an order and you are done there, right? But here every university has a different rule. Every right. document you have to prepare is different. So, uh, so the core documents which I started with us first, I gave the IELTS. I had my IELTS score that's done, and then I started with my CV and SOP. Then every universities might need the uh, school certificates, all the university certificates, transcript of record, and then what else? Uh, work experience mostly, letter. Yeah, yeah, letter. Uh, the company let companies work experience letter I had to give because I had to fill in all the six years what mm -hmm. I was doing, right? Yeah. And then LOR, huh? letter of recommendation. Yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, I had letter of recommendation from my uh, one of my uh, colleague from the com for from the company, and then two of my professors from the college. Nice. Also, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and I also had given the documents like previous research experience from my uh, bachelor's and those right. kind of documents as well. Right, right, right. So basically, the idea is to give as many documents as possible, academic documents mainly, and any extracurricular activities. Right. Yeah. Right. Do Do you think that your six years of experience helped you? Not much. No? I would frankly say no. So fresher also has the same opportunity. Would you yeah. Say? So my main problem is first filtering is based on the uh, credits. I mean, 
yes. credits if it matches with the course that you are applying to right and then the grades mm-hmm. so uh, that's the straight away uh, conditions i would say at least in germany i have heard in us and all they might value your work experience yes. but i really doubt that okay. it really mattered in any of my application here in germany got it mm-hmm. just to summarize this point you said in terms of documents we need your transcripts we need uh, the consolidated yes, mark sheet i guess yeah transcript the of degree? record uh, yeah yeah from the university yes. right and then sop lor uh, he gave 3 lor yeah i gave 3 lor and uh, work experience letter uh, if a university requires a gre for that course then yes you will have to uh, for gre the ideal good score is 315 so he took all of this documents and in germany there are two platforms or two ways universities would expect you to apply to them one is via uni assist and the other one is hey you send the application directly to us on our portal right yeah, correct so let's talk a bit about what universities did you apply if you can name some of them uh yeah you know that will help people according to my grades now everyone knows the grades so <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe uh, the university which i found that students might be able to get admit i think university of koblenz and lundu would be one good option then um, hochschule fulda mm. and with uh, experience even if some universities consider i guess it would be hochschule is uh, yeah, the yeah. university of applied science they might value your uh, experience is what i Mm. felt from my application right. then uh, my current college which is uh, heilbronn uh, university of applied science then i think uh, tu dortmund also uh, is might be a good option yeah tu kaiser lautern if i had slightly better grades then that mm. was also a okay. uh, good option i guess then um, university of constance maybe mm. uh, then university of bamberg they had a uh, higher cut off yeah. because usually universities here have the cut off of 2.5 grade mm. but the bamberg one had slightly uh, higher cut off mm. uh, maybe that would matter i yeah. guess tu darmstadt uh, there also i got an admit that so tell us all the four universities where you got selected yeah so one is university of koblenz yeah. and lundu and then uh, hochschule fulda mm-hmm. and then um, heilbronn university of applied science and also the tu darmstadt where i got the admit and you selected heilbronn here Yeah, okay. I okay. selected. It was okay. a hard decision, but I chose that one. <laughs> right, right. And uh, his story is like you know, as I told you in the beginning, he applied for twenty five thirty universities, right? Mm. Out of which he got through four. I'm interested to know a bit about the the course itself now. It's a three semester program. Yeah, the right. current one is a three semester program. So earlier this was called as Masters in Software Engineering and Management, but mm-hmm. now it's renamed to Software Engineering, where I can. purely stick with the technical courses if i want i see so uh, this is a uh, in here i have two semesters of class one semester of master thesis yeah okay. so this specific course is flexible so like i said earlier it was management and software engineering so they also have a management flavor so mm. if i want courses which is related to management and leadership nice. i have an option and then they also have uh, courses related to human computer interaction uh, nice. uh, those kind of courses like uh, real time uh 3d imaging and uh, 3d labs i guess and then uh, they also have the software engineering and data science profile where they have machine learning artificial in- intelligence system courses and then um, uh, algorithms mm. those kind of technical courses are also there so these are specializations are you talking about like yeah, the so they have three kind yes. of specializations so i have to stick to one specialization throughout my course where yeah. i have to give a minimum of 30 ects right uh, and uh, in as per the course like totally 60 out of which 30 has to come from one uh, field itself yeah. which for me i have chosen as software engineering and uh, data science but uh, the rest of the 30 cts i can choose from any you have many i'm flexible yeah I'm okay okay flexible. in terms of jobs what you mm-hmm. see for yourself only about you right now okay um which area do you envision yourself working now post graduation from this course i would continue i want to continue in uh, software engineering or software development role okay. or in something related to data science okay but uh, i would say maybe with my given experience i would go with software development itself and like in heilbronn area there are uh, companies uh, mm-hmm. many companies and almost all the students uh, who have just passed out are working in some it companies 
from my my senior batches Gorgeous. so there are opportunities obviously yeah. and even my batchmates they are also getting part time opportunities near to uh, the, the city is small but they have many companies like bosch uh, od and then coffland there are many companies uh, which are there right right and in that region of the country there are a lot of headquarters of the companies yeah, yeah. right correct correct yeah. we have a parent who's watching us okay. and one of their big concern is how much money they should be ready with basically for their kid okay what do you have to say now that you have spent 3 months here yeah the main cost is from the blocked account so which for me around that time was around 9.5 lakhs mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, application uh, application would take some time yes and uh, take some money uh, like depend on the number of courses you are applying to right. so each one the first one is around 5000 i guess and then there on you have to pay 3000 per the uh, for for the application through uni assist yeah. so uh, majority of the direct application to universities kind of free yeah. only few universities charge you when you are directly applying to the universities so there you can maybe apply more right, something right. but for me it was around 50 or 60000 i guess all in all i had to have at least like 12 lakhs or something with me got it uh, okay. to start with right and right. Uh, the expenses here in germany i can survive uh, with my blocked account amounts got it and uh, once you get any if you have some experience right it's not yeah. so hard for, to find a part time job here true and if you get a part time job then uh, you can easily support yourself with that mm. money at least um, i don't have a part time yet but uh, my friends who are who do right mm. they get enough amount of money to support themselves uh, through it. their studies and courses Okay. So they don't really have to take the money out of the uh, block block account. account. They can just keep it right, right. with themselves. And, uh, right, right. So basically, part-time job. Uh, you know, students are allowed to work twenty hours a week here in Germany, and uh, you know, with that money, what you will make that's good enough to survive. Yeah. Right. Right. For e even for year two. Yeah, uh, right. I guess so. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I've seen with the uh, students, and they mostly. It's work true, with, actually. I've seen. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, what you're saying is right because uh, on one side. you have a cost going out on the other side you keep making money so it balances the entire thing uh and you don't have to basically ask for year number 2 cost of living from back home you know yeah. let's go back to the cs point the computer science point okay. um how do you see how is the job market for candidates here have you looked around a bit in uh, germany right yes i have seen that it's good so even good. my wife got a job uh, directly from india uh, right. to germany so which which i think is really good and that's the reason why i'm here also okay. uh, so i have something i have left behind a comfortable job back yes. in india so i really uh, understood that there are a lot of job opportunities in in germany right. so uh, even now while applying to part time jobs there they are calling uh, Mm. for majority of the applications they are at least interested in your profiles so which i believe is uh, there there are jobs uh, there are jobs there are jobs okay. so in terms of german language yeah uh, what do you think like you know how much students should be ready with before they come here so i didn't have any german skills when i came here i, I see. was absolutely zero <laughs> okay. so in my applications i didn't have anything to uh, do with a german certificate yeah, correct okay. correct uh, but uh, once i got that meter i was sure that i was coming to germany then i started with a course but i have not uh, even reached a11 level uh, so after reaching germany i have uh, as part of the uh, university they mm -hmm. offer free german classes I so I, in the first semester i have just completed a11 okay. and the course is completely in english so right. it, i applied to only the co courses which was completely in english right right i mean so but uh, yeah to get around in germany it's good to know uh, german yeah. because uh, most of the people speak german only yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but i have been able to survive so long with uh, knowing <laughs> only english i only know few words in german but that's okay. enough at least you still got time ahead yeah. of you right uh, well if your time allows you to complete b1 if possible uh, before coming mm -hmm. i think the integration happens much faster you know that that's definitely you do sometimes when i'm go going out with my friends yes. who know better german right yes, yes. Uh, they take the lead uh. yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah one last advice you have for all those computer science students who are watching us right now and they want to come and do same course like you so uh, you asked right why 6 years so at the uh, second year of my work experience i wanted to apply to germany but then i asked people they said your mark is not good enough mm -hmm. then i left that dream behind and recently i started watching so many videos like yours and many others right and there i got the motivation and even with not so good grades i just was try i wanted to give it a try yeah. so i just kept on applying to as many where i thought fit 
yeah. I thought I might be a good fit yeah. and then I got it so don't worry too much about the uh, grades I guess so nice don't give up on any dreams to study in germany just because you don't have right like uh, 90s or 85s so yeah, still yeah. there's a good chance right 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 very important point what he's saying because uh this is not the first time i've heard something like this there are people they listen to wrong people and they just stick they think that that is the truth right. you know otherwise you would be here long time back. yeah i would have been here i actually tried uh, this uh, earlier but yeah then people said that you need minimum 80s Right, 80 percentage. Yes, yes, clear. exactly. That's what I got, but then uh, that was not true. I personal experience. So. Yeah, yeah. Cool one. So uh, one thing I learned from him is apply in as many universities as possible. So more is less for you. <laughs> and uh, having said that, uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, and we will see you guys next time. Bye bye.